Hi guys, uh, back on the road again. Uh, just been over to Aylesbury to, to drop some equipment off to one of our coaches for the Beckersfield Centre tonight. Um, and just has been driving along, just been having a little think about um, some of the things that we've we got in the pipeline. So one of the things that we're starting to think about this week is a showcase um, in October. And obviously when you run these events, there's so many different aspects to think about um, we always want to make it accessible for as many players as possible so the kind of the first thing that we're thinking about now is like the age demographic um, so I think we were kind of gonna look at 16 to 18 year olds um, but then it's whether or not you make a few exceptions for a few older players 19 20 21 um, and also do you make some exceptions for maybe some talented uh, 15 14 year olds maybe as well um, so that's something that we've got to think about uh, venue important to have a venue which is cost effective um, because a lot of these events that we run we want to get the top players there uh, make it affordable or free um, for players to attend um, to give the, the top players the opportunity to come um, so we've got to think about a venue which is going to be affordable um, and accessible in terms of travel, not everyone can drive, public transport, uh, is it available in the evenings and then the next important thing is inviting scouts along. Uh, obviously we want as many different scouts there from as many different clubs. Obviously some clubs have full-time scouts but um, with the level of the players it's not going to be just the top clubs that we're going to be inviting. There's going to be clubs from lower down the pyramid and um, a lot of their scouts possibly might not be full time so then kind of thinking about the time the day traffic all these little things come in to try and make it an event which is going to be successful and inevitably success means giving players the opportunity to to get signed at clubs um, so that's something that we're kind of brainstorming today thinking about looking at and we'll uh, definitely keep you updated on the progress of that um, throughout the week and months looking at building it up for possibly around the October half term time um, so just back on the way back to the office now um, got a few little bits to finish up today and then I'll be back on the road over to Enfield um, also mentioned yesterday in the video about tickets, like the giveaway for tickets, make sure you're commenting on the video. It uh, doesn't matter what the comment is, just make sure you put a comment down for your chance to win two tickets to the uh, Brentford, the Arsenal Brentford game next week in the Carabao Cup at the Emirates. Uh, should be a great game. Should be some Brentford are doing really well. Favourites to win the championship this year. They've got a great start to the season. Arsenal um, should play probably a couple of the younger players that are, that are looking to break through, the likes of Eddie Nikita um, and Will Smith-Rowe, players that are on the fringe of the first team and youth teams. Um, so yeah, um, so what I'm going to do now, head back to the office, do a little bit of admin stuff and then I'll probably catch up with you guys again uh, on the way to Enfield. I just arrived in Enfield um, about half an hour early for my one-to-one -one session um, and then the development center session as well here in Enfield. Um, well, I've been here a while actually, went over, just over the road, there's a, um, a Nike outlet. I need some new trainers. So I went over there, tried to get some new trainers, didn't really quite find the I wanted. Um, but yeah, now just chilling, getting ready for the session. Um, did actually just have some really good news come through on email um, about one of our players who has just signed. Not Obviously this one, doesn't really count, doesn't count into the kind of 100 day challenge we're doing because we had been actively recommending him to clubs and had been in at clubs before this started. But um, pleased to announce that one of our under 11 goalkeepers has signed at a club. Um, so that's some great news and the parents just sent me an email to thank me for everything that we've done. So I'm going to try and uh, catch up with them on the phone either um, this evening or tomorrow morning. Um, so I'll kind of uh, show you uh, what happens with that. Um, so that's brilliant news and looking forward to more coming up over the next uh, 100 days.
Tom, right there. I'm, I'm Complete good. your last season goal. And then I want your free football aims as well. Okay. Uh, eventually sign for Palace. Why Palace? Because, well, they're kind of lower down in the league. And then I want to, like, okay. expand. Yeah. This is making shooting. Down. Accuracy. Accuracy. Accuracy of what? Like passing. Passing. Cool. Top goal scorer, a lot of assists, and professional. Daniel! Just got home, got the uh, Liverpool PSG game on in the background. Um, so I had a good session at Enfield today. I uh, had the one-to-one -one session um, with a signed under nine. Um, it's really important. Obviously, he, he is signed at an academy, so he is there where a lot of the players in our programme want to get to. Um, but he he's, he's a good player, still working hard, still lots to learn. I think uh, it's important with these one to one sessions that you are just trying to supplement and help improve them as a player because what they don't want to happen is players get to that level and think that it's done think that it's all sorted and he's, he's a very very intelligent player someone who you can see wants to learn and wants to improve so uh, pleasure to work with him um, you'll see a few clips of the session in, in this video um, then on to the Enfield session and also what you'll see in this video is We've just launched a new registration form for all our players um, and just updating contact details but as well as that on it has um, goals and aims for the season that the player is supposed to fill in themselves. So you see a couple of our players just filling in the last couple of details on theirs. This is important for us to help do their reports and also for me to look at the players, see what they want to achieve and how we can help them how we can help them get to that point. Very important to be goal setting, uh, very important to be focused and driven and not just doing things for the sake of it. Everything has to be done for a reason and there has to be an end goal for everything that you do. So again, hope you enjoyed today. Again, tomorrow um, I'm gonna be having a conversation with one of the parents who we said has just signed their son has just signed from our program into a pro club um, and also tomorrow I've got sessions in Amersham. So I hope you enjoy the videos. Keep your eye out for the next one coming tomorrow. Thanks guys.